Hello, it's a while since you've uh, seen me on this screen. Probably, what is it now, like 11 months since I uploaded an actual video that I put some effort into, really. <laughs> Between that, there's been uh, a couple of montages that I edited for people, uh, a video about recent health uh, issues and stuff, which I may have put private by now, I don't know. Um, essentially, the channel has been dead for almost a year. Um, however, for the past two, three months, um, I have been live streaming at twitch.tv forward slash nightstraight almost every day, if not, you know, every like two or three days. Um, but I thought I would put the energy that I'm giving live streaming back into the YouTube stuff and try and do something with it again. Uh, so today I am following the theme that I've been going with for the past few weeks, which is playing Splitgate Arena Warfare. And I'm just going to give you sort of a rundown of what the game is and why you should still play it in 2020. The game came out last year. Um, it was quite popular when it came out and then it slowly kind of like declined for multiple reasons. I'll go over that and then I'll go over the updates and why you should try it out again. Uh, I've been streaming this game now every single day for the past 11, 12 days, something like that, uh, for about four hours each day. And I'm still not bored of it. So if, you know, <laughs> if that's a thing, then there's obviously there's th things that they're doing right. Uh, the game's got something going for it. So, yeah, let's just... Uh, Jump into a few things. So before I jump into a game really quick, I'm gonna go through new things that have been added since I last played, uh, which was just after the beta finished in 2019. So since that, there's been two seasons. We're currently on season two. Uh, I don't think it says it anywhere on the screen, but this is season two. Uh, I'm not sure what the theme was for season one, but we've got this like beach theme going on uh, with one of the maps in the background. Uh, so, stupid fly in my room <laughs> so um, I think the fly is gone <laughs> um, we have the arena pass which is something new for me I think it was included last season as well I'm, I'm assuming they're included with every season the arena pass is ex exactly like uh, the battle pass from other games such as Call of Duty, Fortnite um, uh, Fall Guys as well now any game that has that kind of thing um, so Splitgate added one to theirs as well so as you'd expect you get things like gun skins, armor, customization, you know, um, cosmetics and stuff. Bonus XP, you get these little jetpacks to go on your back as well. Uh, the in-game currency for disco balls, so you never have to buy these. You can earn them just through playing the battle pass. Um, you get some for free, you get some with the premium pass. As you can see, some say free, the other ones are premium stuff. Uh, and when you get the battle pass, you get the first three items immediately uh, when you buy it. So, and it doesn't cost that much either. Uh, there's sprays in the game, and then there is these little the little portal devices. That one's not very uh, standouty on um, <laughs> my skin because it's the same colour, but you get it, it's that. Uh, and then they also have emotes as well, obviously. <laughs> so to help you with the uh, arena pass, you've got some bonus XP. You get bonus XP for logging every day. So if I go to the streak here, I have a 16 day streak of playing the game. Uh, which means I get a 25% XP boost every single day. And then for checking in as well, you get bonus XP. And then for every seven days that you play, you get a hundred of these disco ball in-game currency. Five, four, so I'm going to jump into the game really quickly. Three, I'm playing King of two, Hill on the Helix. One, uh, I did play this map in the beta, so this has been around for a while, but I think it's gone through a couple of like uh, visual changes and stuff. So while we play this game, I'm just going to go through what the game is like now uh, compared to how it was before, why people sort of like dipped off it, and um, why you should jump back on Kill in 2020. Control. So when I hopped onto the game uh, about you know just over two weeks ago now, for the first time uh, since last year, the first thing I noticed is that the community is quite small. However, it's really like close knit. Everyone knows each other, and therefore because of that, everyone's quite friendly. Um, obviously, if it was a small toxic community, nobody would play the game. But there is an active, uh, I'd say. About 2,000 to 4,000 is the number that I heard uh, players on this game, which is still decent. You know, uh, casual games, you'll find a match within at most three or four minutes. Uh, they can be as quick as 20 seconds. And then ranked matches are a bit longer. Uh, I'd say my average time waiting to find a ranked match is probably about between five to 10 minutes uh, because I think ranked is sort of like four or 500 players playing ranked. Um, obviously, it depends on region and the time you play and stuff like that, um, but because of the close-knit community, you will eventually see the same names in uh, lobbies and stuff, which can be quite fun. Um, 
you know, getting to know everyone. Uh, there's a Discord server, so everyone like talks in there, and uh, it could be quite fun. You know, just typing, like spamming in the Discord or people's streams and stuff when you kill them in game and stuff like that. So just talking about the community a bit more, there's recently been the addition of Community Customs. So every Friday, uh, I'm not sure on the exact time, for me it's 10.30 UK time I think. Either 10.30 or 11.30 UK time, depending on when Daylight Saving exists. Um, so for America it's probably closer to like 2, 3 p.m. or something. Obviously again depending on your exact time zone because there's different regions. Uh, so every Friday, there is... Nice. Okay, well, I hit a body shot on that guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, on Friday, there's Community Customs, where uh, two streamers um, that are partnered with uh, 1047, which are the developers of the game, um, will be chosen to host a um, custom lobby. So yeah, um, every Friday, uh, custom lobbies hosted by the community, so uh, 1047 games, which are the developers of the game, will pick um, sort of two, maybe one streamer to host a custom lobby on a Friday. And there'll be a password, I think. You get told it on the Discord or on the Twitter and stuff, um, or you can just ask the streamer directly. Um, you can join their lobby, and then you all play fun custom games together for a couple of hours. Um, I think last time I watched uh, it was hosted by... I watched DJ Stream, he's one of the streamers who also streams every day. Um, and they were playing this game where you sort of like run from one end of the map to the other. Uh, and there's one guy who's sort of the like infected player and he has to try and snipe everyone running across. Um, and then they played a few others which were just like... Um, other sort of like infected modes where uh, everyone has shotguns and one guy has to try and like, run around and eventually, you know, kill everyone or something like that. Um, or you could just play uh, normal 4v4s against each other, you could play SWAT, you could play King of the Hill, you could play Oddball, or you can create your own sort of fun custom games together, put some rules in there and uh, just have some fun for a couple of hours. And while you're there, you have the chance to earn Disco Balls, which is the in-game currency, uh, just for hanging out in the stream. Last time, a thousand were given away, which is the equivalent of like just over sort of ten, eleven dollars um, if you were to buy them yourself. So there's that. You don't have to play. You can just view. Um, just for being there, you know, you'll earn the potential to uh, win something just by contributing to the community and stuff like that. This fly is back in my room as well. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. <laughs> So one of the main reasons you should play is because there's no reason not to and it's because the game is free so you don't lose anything you know you're not going to pay a triple a um fee such as like 40 50 dollars and then if you don't like the game by any chance which i think is very unlikely uh, everyone who plays it so far has pretty much given it positive reviews it has a uh, like a nine point something out of ten by ign the reviews on steam are very positive out of like I think there's like between 9,000 to 11,000 uh, positive reviews on there. Um, so, very likely that you don't enjoy the game. It's fun. Very um, Halo, Quake, uh, Unreal Tournament vibey, you know, arena FPS. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Look at all these guys here. Oh my. So as I said, it's free to play, uh, but the game is AAA quality, you know? Ooh, there we go. I'm not going to kill that guy as well, but yeah, the game's AAA quality. Like, it's very much um, Halo vibe -y. It's classed as, you know, people call it Halo with portals, which is essentially what it is. Uh, and coming from a Halo background, like, I can confirm, it is the same quality level as a game such as Halo. I've been playing Halo 5 now for the past uh, four or five years and I actually enjoy this game more. I think this game has uh, better support by the devs than Halo does. Halo has struggled in recent years to get support by devs. They just don't seem to know what they're doing, don't listen to the community. Whereas this game um, it's complete opposite. You go into their Discord chat, you have feedback on the game, the devs will listen and they will apply your feedback into the game if enough people think the same. They're always active every day. Cardinal Soldier, who's the uh, co-owner of the company, he's like online all the time. <laughs> um, and they'll communicate with you. And yeah, they'll. If, you, if enough people want something in, for example, a certain skin or um, a certain game mode or a new map or anything such as like weapon shooting and things like that if enough people want it they will do it and uh, obviously that's a good thing support your community 
Um, you want the community to enjoy the game as much as possible, cater towards your fans, not towards what you want as the developer, and that's exactly what they do. So finally, before I go, I'm just going to go over, as I said, um, why the game lost its players, uh, which I forgot to mention. <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind while I was playing the game. Um, so the game, when it first came out um, in beta, there was tens of thousands of players playing the game. Um, and that was partly because, one, the game just came out. So when you've got your initial release, obviously you're going to have your peak players pretty much. Um, and a lot of like high you know, like known streamers were uh, playing the game, such as Dr. Disrespect played it. Uh, there's a couple of Halo YouTubers that started playing it and stuff as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure Shroud played it at some point as well for a few days. So they, they were getting hundreds of thousands of views on Twitch and YouTube, so a lot of people were playing the game. However, those people that were playing it um, on stream and stuff, they weren't that good compared to the sort of like pro players that were playing the game, and they got demolished. And as a result, some people can get a bit salty when they lose, and some streamers started like slandering the game and stuff like that, uh, which is unfortunate because they were essentially just mad that they lost games. Um, they thought the skill gap was too high and, you know, gave the game some bad rep that it doesn't deserve at all. Uh, it's just unfortunate that they got paired against some really good players when they were streaming the game. Uh, along with that, there were some connection issues because the, they didn't expect so many players to begin with. Uh, they weren't prepared for it, which is quite frequent uh, these days. Obviously, we know Fall Guys game that recently came out weren't expecting their concurrent players they got in the first day. And look what happened to that game. You know, this flies back again. <laughs> um, look what happened to Fall Guys. You know, they had like three or four days where you couldn't even get into a game. There was server maintenance and they were opening and closing servers all the time and stuff. So this game had something very similar to that. And unfortunately, people left. Um, a lot of them didn't come back, but some of them did. And so far, all the people that have come back have joined the Discord and given feedback. And the feedback is generally, we enjoy this game still. Um, it just needs a little bit more exposure. It needs people to try it again. And it can really thrive. So that's kind of why I'm making the video. Um, so yeah, the last thing as well is uh, the game is currently on PC on Steam. But another reason to get the game soon will be console. Soon TM. <laughs> There's no official release date, uh, but the devs are working on it. They're working on budget and allocating funds for marketing, putting the game onto places like, I assume, Xbox and uh, PlayStation. Um, so console players out there, I'm a controller player myself. <laughs> um, you'll be able to play this game, uh, I'm assuming, this year. So... Uh, Stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you want to see more split game videos, I'll make some. I'm definitely going to make some stream highlights and montage and stuff because my Twitter clips have been doing really well. My recent one almost has a hundred likes after like 24 hours. I uh, went on a 17 shotgun spree in <laughs> in like 58 seconds or something. So, um, check out my social media and stuff for splitting eight clips if you want. Uh, check out my live stream at twitchtv Straight. I stream pretty much every day. If you want to come and watch the game and see it for yourself and uh, subscribe to the channel for more Splitgate videos in the future. So, yeah. <laughs> um, thanks for watching if you did, and I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time I decide to upload. All right, goodbye.